Hey guys, what's up? It's Bobby with Gilk Sports Cards. Hope you're having a fantastic day and happy new year to you. Uh, had a few guys and gals uh, DM me about what I am currently buying in the sports card market. So I thought I'd spend a couple minutes and talk to you guys about what's going on. Besides some of the hot guys like, you know, Brock Purdy and Otani, uh, Juan Soto, uh, John Morant, besides, you know, a few hot guys, it's a great time to buy sports cards right now. So unfortunately, it's a very bad time to sell cards because the market is down, like I said. But if you're looking to spend a little bit of money and just hold on to some cards for a little bit of time, this is a really good time. So let's start with baseball. So with baseball, guys, we're running out of time. Obviously, some of the free agent studs have signed. There'll be a few more. But, you know, spring training and all that fun stuff is not that far ahead of us. So um, I think there's a tiny bit of buzz already starting. So if you do want to buy some baseball cards, I would, I would, I would do it quickly, guys. I'd get on it. So a few players that I am heavily involved in. The big one for me is Junior Cam Monero. Uh, as you can see, I have 23 uh, cards this is the only one I bought, so obviously I, I I really believe in this guy. His his stats in Double A, Triple A were ridiculous. I think he's the I think he's going to be the LED La Cruz next year. That's my personal guess. Um, and so I just wanted a little piece of him. I sold. I did get an a, a auto. I pulled out of a mega mega box mojo of his. I got graded. It got a ten, and I sold it right when he got called up for just under three hundred bucks. And then um, since all the cards were kind of dipping down about a month ago, I bought this for $340. So almost, almost an even wash there. And the first, this is a much more valuable card than the Mega Box Mojo. So I'm excited. This is I'm going to hold. I just want to have one you know, semi-big card of his. The rest of these here are Lunars, uh, Lunar Glow Refractors, and then also Mega Box uh, Mojo Refractors. These I all bought raw. For between eight and maybe fourteen dollars, and I graded them for between fifteen and nineteen. So I have about thirty dollars per card uh, invested in these twenty-two cards. Currently, these cards are going for in a PSA ten. These are all PSA tens. They're going for uh, right around forty-five for the um, Mega Botch Mojos and like sixty dollars for these Lunars. These Lunar Glows are a little bit harder to hit uh, but i'm not selling anything until at least spring training or the season starts because i just know he's going to get hot i know he's going to be the guy and my plan is to sell these four or my hope is to start selling those four between 80 and 100 dollars. so i want to almost yeah i want to just about triple my money on those that's that's the goal so junior cam Monero is by far my favorite baseball guy going into the season i have never uh, in this hobby, spent as much time and maybe even money on a a prospect uh, like I did with this guy. So I'm really hoping he turns out to be a good one. So next is Jackson Churio. Most of you guys already know Jackson Churio. He signed a big contract. I think like 80 years, 80 million. Um, as you can see, I only have four of his cards. You know, his prices, unfortunately... You know, he's got some some pretty big heat and momentum behind him already. So um, I pr I'm, I'm looking, I'm looking at auctions, trying to find some more, but he's just a tough one. But he's definitely going to have some buzz around him when the season start. Another guy, I thought, you know, Dominguez came up and had a really hot start. Uh, unfortunately, got hurt and his cards hasn't gone, haven't gone down as much as I hoped. So these are all cards that I... Picked up raw and got graded. Obviously got PSA 10s, which is awesome. Uh, he'll be back next year, probably in the middle of the season, and he'll have some some amazing buzz. Uh, as soon as that happens, uh, I am I have a couple of more of his cards at PSA getting graded, and I am definitely looking for more. But like Churio, Dominguez is hard to find because he's already expensive, and this is the hardest guy. This is really not a valuable card. I I pulled it in a, in a Mega Box Mojo or Mega Box, excuse me, for and it graded a 10. It's probably a $50 or $60 card. Not a big deal, but Jackson Holiday, he's already too expensive. I, I wish 
I wish I jumped on this train a long time ago. Uh, I'm always looking at auctions for him, but it's really out of hand, his prices. So just someone, maybe you get lucky and hit, you know, if you have any of his cards, especially numbered or mega box mojos, definitely want to consider his Bowman first, all that stuff, getting that stuff graded because he had an amazing year and he's the number one prospect in baseball. So, all right, let's get into a, a couple of my gambles. So in baseball, here are my gambles. Um, I am a Cubs fan and I think, uh, you know, the Cubs are, are making some changes. They haven't signed anybody, haven't done much, they haven't done anything so far in the off season, but I think this guy's becoming my favorite player. It's, it's Christopher Morrell and 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 Nico Horner, my two guys. But this guy, he's such a fun player. God, he works hard. He makes everyone laugh. Amazing teammate. Um, you know, teases the catcher and umpire like after at his first at bat. Like the fans love him. Uh, he reminds me of Sammy Sosa, who you know I know he's got the scandal and all that kind of stuff. But like with the fans, all the stuff this guy does with the fans. Chicago loves him, and I think he's going to get a chance this year. He he hit 24 bombs last year in three quarters of a season. Strikes out a little bit too much, but uh, he improved from the year before. I think he's going to be a monster guy. So I've been you know I've been love this negative card. Uh, his stuff is cheap. Um, like his his numbered top Chrome cards are like 10 to 25 bucks, and then getting them graded. I also did get some autographs of him. Again, bought these two raw refractors, and they graded out a 10, same card. And then I did take a chance, and I spent $150. That's a lot, uh, but it's a color match. I just wanted to have one big card. Again, this is one that I he's my becoming my favorite player, so I, this is a PC that I'm going to keep. But I got one big autograph. The rest of it I'm looking to sell when he gets hot. And then... If you guys want to take a gamble, this is my gamble pick. I'm not going crazy, guys. I'm just spending a little bit, but Gavin Lux. You guys remember that name from the past? So he's on the Dodgers, obviously, with Otani and all the moves they make. They're going to be an amazing team. And he was hurt all of last year. And he's going into the season as the starting shortstop. And you guys got to remember, he was their number one prospect. Uh, he had a pretty solid year when he was playing with the Dodgers, so... His stuff already graded. I'm buying these cards for like $30. So a pink refractor. I got an X fractor. I got a, a blue refractor from Ben Baller. That one's numbered out of 75. Sick. I actually thought this was his first when I bought it, but that's okay. It's a paper, but it's out of 50. It cost me like $28 for that. And I did get one auto that I got for like 35 bucks rookie auto. So that's all I spent it so on him. So like you know, hundred, little over a hundred dollars, um, maybe one fifty. So it's not a huge gamble. Worst case, I'll break even. Uh, I'm looking to buy more of him, uh, but I think you know, with the Dodgers and him being a starting shortstop on potentially the best team in baseball, I think it's, I think there's no risk. Like worst case, I break even on that one. And another guy, I have a bunch of cards, not a bunch, but I have about five cards out for grading that I really like. Well, I'm gonna give you two more guys. Is the first one is O'Neill Cruz. I actually think he's a better player than Ellie De La Cruz. Um, Ellie De La Cruz is another one. His cards have definitely gone down a little bit, but they're still pretty high. But O'Neill Cruz was an absolute beast, has an amazing arm, great power. Unfortunately, he's on the Pirates. His stuff is kind of cheap. So look, I'm, I, I bought in some O'Neill Cruz cards that, I've, that are off to PSA to get grading. And another guy that I just started looking up yesterday, so I have some auctions that I'm looking into. So don't outbid me, please. But it's Adolis Garcia from Texas. Do you guys remember the playoffs and how hot he got and all the home runs and game-winning homers? And he was on fire, and his cards went on fire, and then all of a sudden it just died, and he's they're back to normal. So uh, his stuff is semi-cheap. So uh, if, you know, he had a pretty good season, and now people, he has some hype around him because he's such a pl great playoff player, that I'm going to buy some Adolis Garcia. So, again baseball this is a great time to buy baseball so that's why the majority of uh what we're talking about today is my my baseball investments in in basketball i think i made a good move again this is kind of a homer because i'm a chicago guy but um i'm not going to bring them all out but i have about 
about eight, eight to 10 Kobe White rookies that I started buying about three months ago. And uh, for nothing, guys, this cost me like 18 bucks. I think it's numbered, yeah, numbered uh, of 149. I got some silver prisms and some, you know, pinks and blue Don Ross optics, some bunch of nice stuff. But uh, basically, it's a good time to sell him right now because he's hot. But I'm gambling and Zach Levine is going to get traded. I am certain of it. And he is going to officially be a starter as soon as that happens. And I think the buzz is going to get even stronger when the when the Bulls trade Zach Levine. So he's having a really great bounce back year. Uh, I already sold all my Tyrese Maxi cards. That was my big my big hit uh, from you know buying uh, earlier this year. He came out hot. I sold about eight of his cards. Did really really well. So Tyrese Maxi was a good one. And then I still have a little bit of Cameron Thomas. Um, I sold a couple. I did good. I did pretty good with it. And he's playing pretty good. But um, he has that potential. He's a, he is a scorer, and I think he could potentially get hot. So he's another guy I'll look into every once in a while because he's still on the cheap. I think Tyrese Maxey, I, I can't do it anymore. He's 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 too hot. Um, he'll someone I'll probably buy later on after the season again and redo it next year. But Cameron Thomas is a guy to keep your eye on. And then my favorite guy, I'm so happy that I started to buy his cards about two weeks ago. My favorite guy right now, and this is not a great card or anything like that, is Justin Fields. So this is number out of 80. Um, I have about 10 of his cards currently at PSA. I've been buying a couple PSA 10s already that are on their way, so we'll have a video on that. But he, to me, he's proved to the Bears that he is the guy and that he's a stud. They got the number one pick. They're going to hopefully trade it for a bunch more picks. I think I think we can get Marvin Harrison third, the third. We could maybe trade to that down to the Patriots and then pick up Marvin Harrison. We have... Uh, like more money to spend on free agents than any other team next year. I am telling you that there is going to be a ton of buzz about Justin Fields in about three or four months. So I'm buying as much as I can. Worst case scenario, he gets traded. And when he gets traded, there's going to be tons of buzz. If he goes to the Falcons or the Raiders or Patriots, whoever wants him, there's going to be tons of buzz. So I think... He is down. He's he's had a couple good weeks, so he's starting to scoot up a little bit. But Justin Fields, guys, he is my – of all the guys, of all the cards, he is my number one pick. And he's the guy I'm really, really focusing on. So, uh, unfortunately right now because not, – not unfortunately, but he's been playing pretty good. So, there is already a little bit of buzz building. But keep your eye on Justin Fields. To me, he's a lock. Whether he plays – stays with the Bears, they're going to spend money, get a bunch of guys, and his cards are going to go up from that buzz. Or if he gets traded – there's going to be that buzz and his cars are going to go up. So that's my number one, my number one buy. So let me know in the comments what you think. Uh, please let me know what players you guys are looking to uh, are investing in. I would love to get your opinions and sneak in a few of some other players cards for sure. So have a great day. Happy New Year again. Please subscribe if you haven't. Give me a thumbs up. Let me know who you're buying, guys. Have a great one. Peace.